A workout doesn't have to include jumping or jogging or running around a lot to be effective. In fact, high impact exercises, such as they're called, can be jarring on the body or joints, placing you at greater risk of injury. If it's right for you, low impact exercises can improve your fitness and health without causing harm to your joints. So who benefits from these type of exercises? Well, people managing painful knees or back problems and other chronic conditions as well can find this way to get fit without risking injury particularly beneficial. Not only that, it can help you lose weight, improve your cardiovascular health and improve your mood. What's not to like? So what is low impact exercise? It's important to remember that low impact doesn't equate to less effort or lower intensity. Exercises that are gentle on your body and joints or can be performed in a fluid motion are considered low impact. Though this can be less strenuous, low impact exercises can be adjusted to suit all fitness levels, so you can really get a burn on if you want. They're also called no impact exercises because they don't involve the use of force or impact. Some examples include walking through water, swimming, spinning, uh, cycling classes really, um, and other things like yoga or Pilates. So when is low impact exercise a better option? Opting for a low impact exercise can be a good alternative after an injury when you're recovering uh, or after illness. It's a great way to get moving and maintain your fitness without placing stress on your joints. It can be a good starting point if you're new to exercise and perhaps most helpfully of all, it's generally suitable during pregnancy. A low impact routine is also beneficial for people who suffer from chronic pain and those with pre-existing conditions like arthritis or fibromyalgia. So what are some examples of these low impact exercises? Well, there are plenty of options to choose from. Um, some of the most popular include walking, obviously, dancing, cycling, swimming, yoga, Pilates, things like that, but also um, more unusual ones like Tai Chi. So what are the benefits? Well, besides injury prevention, many forms of low impact exercises focus on developing flexibility and improving strength or balance. These are important for maintaining a healthy body um, and keeping yourself active. Low impact exercises can be used as an active recovery from high intensity activities as well. So a sort of warm up or warm down kind of routine. Working out wisely is a great way to improve your physical and mental health. It can strengthen and tone muscles. It can increase endurance as well as improving balance and joint flexibility. It also can boost the immune system. So if you're interested in more information, uh, have a look at our YouTube channel. There are some great uh, exercise routines there or look on our website. Alternatively, if you're in the Brighton area, then give us a call, book an appointment with one of our chiropractors or physios and we'd be happy to put a program together for you.